Hello, this is Azriel Moyer, and today I want to continue my teaching on trusting in the Lord. And the scripture that I'm coming from today is Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11 through 14. So it says, it starts off here, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. And one thing I want to share today about trusting in the Lord is that it's always good to know that we have a loving father, a loving heavenly father whose intention towards us is always for good. And we can be sure of that. And Jeremiah is pointing that, pointing us towards that here. God's intentions for us are always good. God's plans for us are always good. His thoughts towards us are always good. God is on your side. He's on my side for our good. God is never against us. I don't know if you if you've ever been taught or someone has ever told you that God is out to get you or God is not for you, but that is totally wrong. God is for you and God loves you so much that he gave his only son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. That's that's how much God loves you is that he would give his best gift, his most treasured possession so that you could be you and him could be one and you could be received into heaven. Okay, so God says here, once again, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you. So God is loves us so much that he even thinks about us. A lot of times we don't, we don't probably don't think about the way God, his heart is toward us, but God thinks about you. God knows your situation. He knows what, what you go through on a daily. He knows he knows the things that are troubling you, the things that you're trying to figure out. And God says here, "He, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. So just know that God always wants a future for a good future for you and a hope. Whatever situation or whatever circumstance you're in, you can always be optimistic. You can always be able to give God praise because God says he wants to give you a future and a hope. And if God is powerful enough to create the earth and the heavens, he's powerful enough to fulfill his purpose for your life, which is to give you a future and a hope. Verse 12 here says, then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you. So God desires relationship from his children. How when, we, when you trust someone, you want to be in relationship with them. God desires relationship. He says, call upon him. Call, call, call upon God. Talk to God, just like you would call a friend and talk to them. Call God and tell God your situation. Tell God what you tell God you love him. Tell him you love him. Tell him you tell him thank you for the good things that you're doing in my life. Tell God what if there's things that you want to see change in your life. Tell tell that to God. It says, then you will call upon me and go and pray to me. That's prayer. Prayer is communication with the heavenly father. And says, and he says, I will listen to you. So God's ears are always open to the prayers of his people. So one of the best things and the greatest things that we can do every day is to communicate with our heavenly father, who already tells us that he has a plan to give us a great future and a hope. So we got to be communicating with our father in order for us to walk out that plan for our, for our lives. In verse 13, it says, and you will seek me. And find me when you search for me with all your heart. So when we're doing this action of calling upon God and communicating with God and seeking God, it's not just something that we're doing with half of our being or half heartedly, but it's something that we're giving our whole heart to seeking God and seeking his will for our life and wanting to know God more, wanting to know him more. It says, see, you'll seek me and you'll find me when you search for me with all your heart. So we have to give God our whole heart, surrender our whole life. We do that through surrendering our life to Jesus who died on the cross so that there'll be no more separation between us and our heavenly father. He took, he died. He, he knew no, Jesus knew no sin. He was perfect, spotless. He knew no sin. He was the son of God from heaven, came into the earth to destroy the sinful nature and the sin and to die for the sins of mankind so that we could be just like him we could be we could and know 
that we are loved by our Father and know the Father and be with the Father forever. So if you haven't done that, that step, now is the day to give your life over to Jesus and to trust in him and to place your trust in Jesus and say, God, I don't trust in my own ways. God, I'm tired of living just any kind of way. I'm tired of just, you know, you know, running from you and running from your voice. But I want to I want a life change. I want to make a change that's going to affect my life. Not only that, but my family, my children. Now is the day to do that. And and it says in verse 14 here, I will be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity. So that's God desi God's desire for us. He wants to bring us back from. And that's what God has accomplished for us through Jesus is that he has brought us back from captivity. He's brought us back from bondage to sin. It says here, I'll gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I've driven you, says the Lord. And I will bring you to the place from which I caused you to be carried away captive. And that's exactly what God has done for us in Jesus Christ is that he's gathered us from everything that is totally foreign, everything that's not from him. God has taken us away away from that in Jesus. And he's caused us to, to be carried away. He's caused us to be brought back from the place to to the place which we were carried away from. And that's that's his bosom. We and that's and that's our father's love. So I just want to encourage you with that today that you should put your trust in in Jesus. If you have if you haven't done that, put your trust in Jesus. That's trusting in the Lord. And God will work all things to your good and cause a blessing to come not only upon you, but upon your family. And he'll cause a great change in your life. So I pray that this was a blessing to you. And I encourage you today to continue going forward and put your trust in the Lord. This is Azrael Moye, and I'll be back on tomorrow. So be on the lookout for more videos from me. Have a great day.